coin jar, a bit over a kilo in total, ten pounds from the local coin and antique shop. See what's inside. Five cent from America. Early one penny from 1919. There's going to be quite a lot of pennies in the lot, so I'm going to just show through quite a few in front of me and then we'll skip to the next one. You can see some of them are not in as good a condition as some of the early other pennies and some of them are far earlier than others so this is a 1913 example quite worn down though but it's a mix of those and the elizabeth versions of the large penny before we went to the modern smaller penny system It's a nice uh, 60s example with the lighthouse and trident and all the main details there. Obviously this is an Elizabeth the second. And then we'll just mix it up a bit. So we have a American quarter, which would be about 25 cents. And the year it's bimetal and uh, not a silver one, which you can see from the colours on the side. We've got uh, a shilling from the 60s, 1963. A shilling from the 50s. The copper nickel coins. A shilling from 1928. This is uh, the first silver coin of the lot. This is 50% silver. It's quite a nice example, a bit worn, but not bad. So we also have half pennies. Half pennies are still quite big. We don't have these in Britain anymore, but they got even smaller. Once there's an example over here in the lot where they got smaller than a one pence coin, and these are the new half pennies. And as you can see, when the half penny was replaced with the new half penny, they got even smaller again, and then eventually that was completely removed from circulation. In Britain, no longer had half pennies. We have uh, quite nice designs of half pennies. The the ship design which is uh, one of my personal favourites. There's quite a few of those in here from uh, varying years. The half penny was in circulation for many years in Britain. See, that's a damaged one probably damaged while it was in circulation. That's some more half pennies in worse condition, but we'll uh, swap to a different coin now from the job lot. So we've got a French coin. It is a French one franc from 1963. It's quite a nice example. We also have a half franc coin, so it's a 1996 example of a half franc before France went to Euros and lost its own currency and now has the same currency Euro coins as most of Europe. 
of uh, the country for special designs. Same as many now that all the coins are sorted into rough groups, save on time. This is all the coins that have already been sorted, shown earlier, including the silver coin. And uh, we'll start with the smallest one. We have some Mexican coins. We got a Mexican one peso from 1975. And a Mexican 10 cents. With the classic eagle on a cactus design. The camera's the size to focus. We also have some Canadian coins. A couple of Canadian cent, one cents, which, as far as I know, are still legal tender, although they don't issue them now except for certain dates and stuff, but not for main circulation. We've got a 25 cents moose, there's other animal designs available, and two 10 cents boat designs. There's also a fish design. Some others. So we got some US coinage as well. We got a dime, or as most of the world would call it, a 10 cent coin, a 1 cent coin, Lincoln head. Some people call it wheat cents. Got 5 cents coins. another US quarter. So from Singapore we have a 20 cent coin. Quite a nice swordfish design. We have a Japanese small nomination coin. We have a Australian Elizabeth II. Five cent coin. Got a Soviet coin from when the Soviet Union was in power. From the mid sixties. Next we have a one franc coin. 1923. Staying with the franc system from Switzerland. Which the Swiss also use francs. This is one of their lower denomination also from Malaysia. Little five cent. African 1965 coin from the Netherlands. We've got a nice assortment. We've got a 25 cents, there's uh, two of those. We've got a couple of 10 cents coins and a large 5 cent coin and we also got from Oriental country of Hong Kong some nice Hong Kong coinage Queen Elizabeth some younger Elizabeth and slightly older Elizabeth and from this I'm sure you'll put it in the description or on the screen now uses a different written language form and their coins and the date system. We ended up with quite a lot of British coinage. So we have a lot of 
sixpences. Of these sixpences, we have three silver sixpences. All 50% silver. Three different designs. The oak, the lion, and the crown design. See, there's many other years, but generally, the majority of them are clover design with occasional crown designs mixed in. Okay, that's the sixpences. With the threepences, we've got a lot of threepences. One silver threepence, which is also 50% silver. The other threepences are the much later date ones. With threepences, all round threepences were silver. And all threepences, which were this shape, were never silver. Weirdly enough, there's a crossover between threepences where you'd get a silver one and a non-silver threepence of the same year for the later years. We also get another silver coin. A very worn down 1921. With a nick in the back of the neck of the king. shillings have few designs but the examples we've got here only show two of them so we have the lion on the crown design and oh, no there is another one mixed in lions in the shield and the singular lion in the shield design so we had a lot of pennies one penny. So this is one of the older one pennies from 1907. She's very worn. Quite nice. And a load of them. The basic design doesn't change much. So you have a couple of different monarchs. Most of them Elizabeth II. Coming on to half pennies, a lot of later edition half pennies from the 60s, 50s, and 40s, and then two examples of earlier half pennies that are in quite nice condition. A 1931 and a 1935 example, and obviously we have the later half pennies that are much smaller. We had a lot of those. Uh, a lot of half pennies in this lot. Going on to French coins, we have three French one francs, some French five cents, ten cents, twenty cents, half francs, and that is a French coin. But oh, it's ten ten franc, and an aluminium one franc. Also have this mixed lot of world coins, which will show on the screen. Put down below in the comments if you recognize some of these coins. 